Welcome to Krakow. Ciao a tutti, come va? One thing Julie and I really enjoy is live music and going to concerts. We haven't been to one in forever, uh, but now that everything's opening back up, people are starting to tour again. In this episode, we visit another country and we get to watch one of the biggest names in pop music today perform. <music> If you know me, you know I love live music, and since things are opening up much more this summer compared to last, one of my favorite acts, Harry Styles, was coming through. Everything in Italy was kind of already sold out, so we took it as an opportunity to try out a new country and visit Poland. Since Harry Styles was going to be in Europe, Julie and I decided to make it one of our quarterly day trips to Krakow. In the time between when I initially looked at the flights and when I purchased them, the flight to Krakow disappeared, so we actually ended up flying through Warsaw and staying there for a night. Uh, we were a little delayed, so we didn't get the evening out in town that I wanted, but it looked like a pretty cool city overnight. <laughs> One of our favorite ways to experience the culture of a new country we visit is to try out the foods. There were a couple of street foods in Poland that we had been encouraged to try, like pierogies, Pachkis, which are like donuts, and zapikanka, which is like a Polish street pizza. Probably pronounced all of those wrong. Being from the Chicagoland area, I know a thing or two about Polish cuisine. Uh, but what I didn't know was how much better it tasted in Poland. The Polish street food is awesome. I mean, I couldn't stop eating. It's probably the most I've eaten in a trip. Let's not kid ourselves, Harry Styles was the reason for this trip. I have recently become a very big Harry Styles fan, and when his tour was canceled because of COVID in 2020, ended up being good luck for me because now I could see him this year. I love his music. It must play more to like the teeny bopper crowd because that was definitely who was filling up the place. Been to a lot of concerts in the past. I really love live music. Um, he put on a really great show. I was enjoying the whole thing. I think Mark knew less of the music than I did, but he was still having a great time. Me personally, I only know a couple Harry Styles songs as a solo artist. I'm a bigger fan of the One Direction era of his career. One minute you go hi. One minute you go hi. One minute you go hi. We had seats, we had like the first row of seats in the upper balcony, so I did not have to stand and I had a good time. It was, it was an enjoyable concert. On our second day there, we woke up to just beautiful sunny weather, so we decided to rent the little Uber scooters and scoot around the town, which is something I never tried before. Uh, it was a little scary at first, they went a little faster than I thought they would. <laughs> But uh, we had a great time and it felt like a kid again. Every major city has those scooters just laying around where you could just use an app and ride around. And I've always, was always intrigued by it. And we got to use it this time because we didn't have to worry about kids.
We just spent the day walking around Old Town Krakow and it was beautiful. There was a lot to look at from castles, parks, city streets, so it was really nice. I heard from friends that there was a pinball museum and I'm someone who loves video games so I wanted to check it out and lo and behold they had pinball machines some old some new uh, and arcade old arcade machines that I haven't seen since I was maybe in in high school it was very nostalgic for me because there's a lot of machines that I played in my childhood from 7-eleven to Aladdin's castle or whatever but I had a great time there and I'm glad Julie did too we were really blown away by how reasonably priced everything was, from the hotels to transportation to food. It was just a really cheap city compared to some of the places we've traveled recently. If you're traveling to Europe, I know people want to go to like London, Paris, Rome, whatever. You should consider Krakow. Krakow is a great time. Krakow was really a pleasant surprise for us with all the beautiful sights and the food was really good. We want to see what else Poland has to offer, so we'll have to bring the kids back in the future. Do widzenia!